Hey guys, so today I'm here with a review. One of my friends got me these Artis brushes from a sample sale. So I'm just gonna try them out for you guys and see what I think. Um, Artis is normally pretty expensive, but these brushes I don't think were that bad. I think it was like $30 and there's like five brushes in here. I believe this set is for the eyes. So this is what the inside of the package looks like. They're really pretty. I don't think it says what each brush is supposed to be used for, but they are eye brushes. Um, I threw out the box. So yeah, let's just get on into it. Hmm. I'm just going to pull them all out here. Okay, so as always, I'm just going to start with primer. So to prime, I'm going to use this brush, the Digit Oval 4, and I don't believe any of these are actually on the market yet. Let me zoom you guys in a bit more. So I don't believe any of these are actually on the market yet. Um, I'm not quite sure. Like I said, she got them from a sample sale. So this is the back and this is the front the bristles pretty big brush so I think it's perfect for laying down um, some eye primer here okay so I'm just gonna use my Pia Louise base as per usual and just lay down the eye primer with this brush I'll just dip in and see it might be a little big I don't know I don't know how I feel about these like a lot of people really like them I feel like it's weird because I'm so used to like not like brushes are never like this so I mean we'll see this one's all right I don't think it's anything like legendary like I could easily just do with a regular brush I mean, it gets the job done, though. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. There's definitely a learning curve with these brushes because they're, like, shaped very differently than brushes that I would normally use. So, if you use Artiste brushes and you have any tips on how to use them, what the best way is to use them, um, comment down below and let me know. I think I'm gonna apply a little more primer to that left eye because I just feel like there's not enough. Okay. So we're primed. As always, I'm just gonna set my primer with a little bit of powder. So there we go, primed and ready. Now, I'm gonna try the crease brush. It's interesting, this one's a lot more fluffy. This is the, what this one looks like. In the same barrel as the other one. Um, so I'm just gonna do like a light look today. So I'm gonna take gonna take my Natasha Denona gold palette because I know I love this palette and we're gonna try out these brushes here um, I feel like they do have a little bit of fallout okay so let's try get this color in the crease am I supposed to I mean, it lays down the color fine, but it's just not 
as fluffy as I would like. This is the digit circle one. I mean, it blended out fine. Let's try the other side now. Ow. Ooh, I think I picked up a lot more on that side. I'm trying to put it over here too. Not bad. It's just like weird, like I wouldn't choose these brushes, I don't think, over, you know, the brushes I already have. Like I feel like I really need to get in here and blend everything. I mean, if you want like a precise lay down of color, this one's nice for that, but if you just wanna like an all over blend, I wouldn't use this brush, but it's not bad. I kind of like it to get right in the inner corner right there. Um, cause it's hard to get in with some blender brushes, but okay. I mean, it blended out the color pretty nicely. So, I mean, it works. It's just not, I don't think I would just gravitate towards these like normally. This one's a bit more fluffier. We'll try this one next. And this is the Digit Oval 3. Oh yeah, this one's way fluffier. So maybe use the other one to lay down color and this one to blend it out. Okay. The Digit Oval 6, I kind of want to try for concealer. So I'm going to try that for my concealer. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all of the brushes except for this one, which is the Digit Linear one, which I feel like you're supposed to use for eyeliner, which could be interesting for eyeliner. This I actually might like. I'll try this maybe with like a shadow. So I'm just gonna put a lid color on. I'll just use the Digit Oval. No, I'll just use my finger to put on a lid color because I don't want too crazy of a look today because I'm not really going anywhere fancy. I'm gonna put a little bit of a gold shimmer on the lids. This is like a wash of color. Nothing too elaborate. And I'm gonna go back in with the um, brush that we laid down the color with and just blend out the edges, the digit circle one. Yeah, it looks, looks decent. And let's try the digit linear one to do maybe just like a little bit in the outer edge. I picked up the color, and let's see. Hmm. I feel like it looks good, I don't know. This, I might actually use this brush. The rest of them, I'm not too sure. Um, but this one, I actually might use. I like how it just like leaves the color exactly where you want it. I feel like it looks good. I don't know. I mean, you guys tell me below what you think. I think it looks pretty decent. So the next part, I'm gonna speed through until we get up to concealer, where I'm gonna try out that last brush. So 
Yeah, just uh, keep on watching for that. Okay, so I'm all done with my base pretty much. So I'm gonna show you guys my concealing now using the Artiste brushes. Um, here we go. So as usual, I'm using my Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. I'm gonna apply it in all the same spots that I normally would. And I apply quite a bit of this, so hopefully I'm not putting on too much. So I know these brushes, I think, aren't supposed to like absorb product. Um, so hopefully this isn't too much because it looks like a lot. <laughs> um, and then after that, I'm just gonna bake as usual. So I'm gonna set up my little baking powder. This my uh, Jeffrey powder that I always use, the uh, Magic Star Translucent. I'm probably just going to set the whole face with that too because it's just easier. Okay, so we're going to take the Digit Oval 6 and we're going to try to blend this. Let's see. It makes a nice, like, sharp line. I think you're just supposed to, like, smear. I don't know. I don't know if I like this for concealer. But, uh... It's personal preference. Like, I don't know. I might just do one side with this and one with my beauty blender for comparison and see like how I feel about it. I mean, it does do the outer corner like nice and sharp, which that I like. But I don't know. I feel like the under eye just looks kind of cakey and I don't know if it's like blending into my foundation fully okay so that's that side and I'm gonna do the nose just blending back and forth and the chin forehead I, I don't know. It's weird. I mean, I've never used these before, so it could just be me. So let's try the other side with the Beauty Blender and see which side we like the best. I think I just got concealer in my eye. Love that. Okay, so. I mean, I feel like the Beauty Blender side blends out a lot 
quicker. I'm just gonna go over that with the foundation side. But it could just be because I haven't really used these Artiste brushes before. I mean, do you guys see a difference? This is the Beauty Blender side, and this is the Artiste side. I feel like the Artiste side looks a little bit more cakey, but like, again, it could just be me. So, I don't know. And I'm gonna bake both sides now. Because if I don't bake, my mascara, ooh, runs everywhere. Okay, so, I mean, they're not bad. They're not my favorite brushes that I've ever used. I don't know, it's like, it's tricky. Like, I feel like I'll have to use them a bit more before I can tell you, like, my complete thoughts on them. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to see how we look after our bake is done. Um, and I'm just going to set the rest of my face with the Jeffree Star powder. So, yeah, I'm going to see how we look. Once I wipe away the bake, because like if one side's more cakey, whatever, um, I feel like that's a good indicator of how good, you know, the brush or product is. I don't know. I mean, it looks fine now. It might just be because I don't really know how to use the product. So, I don't know. If you guys have ever used any Artiste brushes, let me know what you think about them. I feel like people like rave about them, but they're like so expensive that I'm like, are they really worth it? Like you can get a Morphe brush for so much cheaper or like even like an e.l.f. brush for like way cheaper. I've used some pretty good e.l.f. brushes or Coastal Scents, whatever, like whatever you use for so much cheaper. So I don't know if for me it's worth like justifying the price, but you know, if you wanna try them out, go right ahead. You might have better luck than me. You might like the shape better. I don't know. I just, you know, I don't think they're worth the astronomical price that comes along with it, personally. Like, none of them were really anything to brag about, except for that liner one. I did like that one, but I don't even know, do they sell them separately or are they just in sets? Because I got that one in a set, so I'm not sure if they do even, like, come separately. I'm gonna have to check their website and, um, see, because if they don't even come separately I feel like it's definitely not worth it because it's like why would I buy all these brushes when I only want to use like one or two you know what I mean like but such a waste of money the makeup so far came out good so like I'm not mad about it but I don't know I don't know I don't know have you guys seen also the new well, not new, the new old Nicole Guerrero palette is coming back from Anastasia. I actually have that palette and I remember I used to use it all the time. Um, I don't know where it is though right now. I just picked up the Amrezy highlight from Anastasia and it reminded me of it. I think they like kind of reformatted the palette a little bit, but it's the same colors and everything. So that's interesting that they're bringing it back out. Okay, so the face is pretty much done. I'm gonna wipe away the bake and see how it looks. I 
I feel like it looks good. I don't know if I'm crazy. I feel like there's less coverage on the RT side, which is this side. Um, they both look fine, but that's what I'm noticing here, that there's less coverage. So, I don't know. Um, I might continue to play around with them um, and let you guys know what I think. Um, so, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back for the outro. So guys, hey, I am back and my makeup is all complete. Um, I like how it turned out. Final thoughts on those Artiste brushes. Do I think they're worth the price? Let me bring you guys in one more. Do I think they're worth the price? No. Do I think you should buy them? Not really. You can go out and buy an e.l.f. set, a Morphe set, a Coastal Scent set for so much cheaper than the Artiste brushes. Again, I don't know if you could buy them in singles. Don't think you can. Um, but if you can, that one liner brush that I used, I did like. Um, but the rest of them, definitely non-essentials. Um, if you want to get them because you like trying makeup and you like trying different things, I would say, you know, go right ahead. If you have the money for it and you want to try them, try them out. Um, I don't think I'll be using them that much. Um, in future videos, if I do use them, I'll update you and say, oh, you know, I actually really like them but I really don't think they're worth the price. So yeah, I would just stick to your cheaper brushes and yeah. So that's my final thoughts, guys. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like down below and comment some of your favorite products. If you use the brushes, let me know how you use them because maybe, you know, I'm just using them wrong. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.